Kyle's unpopular takes. This one you all knew was coming. Drugs. Drugs. What's my take on drugs? Legalize, tax, and regulate drugs. Now, a lot hinges on that last word, regulation. Um, it is not so clear, it is not so straightforward um, how you regulate. There's going to be a lot of debate. There's going to be a lot of uh, wiggle room. There's going to be a lot of different interpretations um, as to how you do that. But my general feeling is lean on the side of freedom and liberty as much as possible while still doing some basic bare minimum regulation. So, am I going to legalize fentanyl? What's basically a horse tranquilizer where it could kill you if you take the tiniest amount. No, I'm not. Will I legalize other opiates or opioids, though, that people can get over the counter? Yes. Um, I think the reason why this is an unpopular take of mine is that the rest of the, the country hasn't caught up yet. The country's caught up on marijuana, where everybody says, yeah, legalize that one, that one's fine. Um, the country's caught up on maybe some psychedelics. Okay, you could legalize some of those or decriminalize those, that's fine. The country definitely hasn't caught up on uppers, on downers, on cocaine, on things of that nature. They think, well, certain drugs are just too dangerous and other drugs are not that dangerous, and so keep the really dangerous ones banned and keep the, uh, you know, the not dangerous ones uh, decriminalized or legal. My take on it is, you should basically take the safest version of all different kinds of drugs and legalize tax and regulate it, and you could even, it could even be commercialized. That's probably my biggest difference with um, even other lefties, where many lefties would say, decriminalize all of them, but only legalize the safe ones. I say, legalize the safe-ish versions of all of the drugs, and even allow them to be commercialized where companies can sell them, jobs can be created as, as a result of them. So it's not just, decriminalization means you're sort of leaving it in a legal gray area, like you can't be locked up for selling it or using it. Um, I go a step further where, again, it can be legal, it can be regulated, it can be commercialized where people can sell magic mushrooms through a particular co uh, company and, you know, have different brands and different flavors or whatever the hell. Um, yes, I would make it part of the economy and I would make it a, a job, um, you know, a way to create jobs as well. And now, I think that one of the things we should do is levy a tax, and the tax money goes towards rehabilitation efforts. So, I would have uh, universal rehab as part of a Medicare for All system, in my ideal system. So, if people do have a problem, they can go and, you know, get that taken care of and get it taken care of for free. But, you know, I think that you shouldn't take away these things from the 80% who can use them responsibly because 20% can't. And that roughly is the number based on Dr. Carl Hart's research, and he's an expert on this stuff. So, legalize drugs, tax drugs, regulate drugs. Um, I would make sure that the, you know, crocodile or, or fentanyl or the most dangerous substances, bath salts, certain kinds of bath salts, that cannot be legalized. But softer versions of uppers or downers or hallucinogenics, psychedelics, they can be uh, legalized. And... Um, I think this is the, the, the freedom position, you know? I think that this is the liberty position. And I think even with embracing freedom, you could still have a relative amount of safety because when you have these things legal, everything's out in the open and then people could talk about, hey, this dose is okay, this dose is way too much. When it's underground, people don't know that stuff. And also when it's underground, it's not regulated. The products are cut with all sorts of terrible things and you can die as a result of it and you can OD as a result of it. So um, I think this position of mine, even though it's, unpopular in the country. People wouldn't say legalize, tax, and regulate virtually all substances or safer version of all substances. It's unpopular in the country. I think among libertarians, maybe my position is popular. Among some on the left, my position would be popular. But uh, over time, I think this is one where we're going to move people, where eventually people will come more or less to my position. And I think that's a good thing because what we're doing now with the war on drugs has not worked at all.